open no matter how hard I try. Someone used some serious magic to seal this. I must not want anyone reading what is in it. Boris utters some words under his breath, but nothing happens to the book. Wow, this magic is strong. I think you should take this to Headmaster Ambrose. He should be able to open it. It must contain some dark secrets to be sealed with such powerful magic. say that this book was dropped on Unicorn Way by some stranger. It is sealed with powerful magic. This does not bode well. The headmaster uses his wand to create a force field around the book. As he speaks his words of power, the book suddenly bursts into flame and is consumed. I buck up it. I'm glad I used a protection spell on it. That book had a trap spell on it. I think they knew, but it would eventually be brought to me. If I were to guess, I would say this book was the work of Malister. Be on guard, for I am sure there will be more dangers ahead for us. Be brave, young wizard. famous young wizard everyone's been telling me about. I'm Annie, Wizard City's new resident Shutterbug. Tell me, have you ever wished you could archive your awesome accomplishments, save striking scenes, and immortalize interesting entities? Well, now you can through the captivating art of photomancy. Photomancy allows you to capture a picture of your surroundings that you can go back and view anytime, anywhere. While mastering the art of photomancy takes practice and talent, taking a simple photo couldn't be easier. Here, I'll show you the basics. To bring up your viewfinder, press the Z hotkey or use the photomancy page in your spellbook. The boundaries of the viewfinder represent the edges of your photo. Think of it like the frame for the view you're trying to capture. There are two basic photo modes, normal and selfie. Normal photos are taken from behind you, and selfies are taken facing you. You can also choose to hide yourself in the photo for those times when you want to focus on the scenery or maybe you're having a bad road day. You can zoom in and out using the scroll wheel. Just be careful not to zoom too far out or in or you risk losing focus on your subject. Once you've snapped your photo, it's then stored in the Photomancy album in your backpack. Space is limited, so be discerning. Okay, enough chit-chat from me. You should go give Photomancy a shot for yourself. <laughs> Just press Z and take a photo here in the comments. natural photomancer. I can't wait to share more tips of the trade with you. I'll be sure to call you as soon as my studio opens. Until then, the only advice I have is to go out and take lots and lots of photos. Have fun with it. Oh, and don't forget to say cheese. Hey there, friend. Now that you know the basics of photomancy, it's time you bring your skills into focus. 
Geomancy is more than just capturing moments in time. You can use it to capture quest goals, too. Allow me to demonstrate. When using Photomancy for questing, your subject or goal target must be in range, or as we say in the biz, in focus. You'll know your subject is in focus when you see their name appear in your viewfinder. That's all there is to it. Of course, the only way you're going to master this element of Photomancy is to practice. Go snap a photo of Hilda Brewer in the fairgrounds, Mr. Lincoln in Gollum Court, and Sergeant Muldoon in Old Town. Have fun! on your way to becoming a professional photomancer. Just keep snapping photos, and don't forget to say cheese. Hello again, wizard. You have quite the eye for photomancy, and I just learned about an exciting opportunity I think you'd be perfect for. The Spiral Geographic Society of Marleybone is going to publish a new magazine. They asked me for talented photomancers, and I thought of you. Go find Hubbard Gardner at the Royal Museum in Marleybone. Show him some of your pics. I'm sure he'll want to use you for his magazine. My name's Penny. I just got here to Wizard City and I don't know what's going on. Nothing is like they said it would be. My parents told me all about how nice Professor Malastare was when they came here and how I'd really enjoy his classes. I came here and he's gone. No one knows what happened to him and even the whole death classroom is missing. There's just floating rubble. My application somehow got lost and I don't know who to talk to next. Could you go ask the registrar, Mr. Lincoln, what happened to my paperwork? What's that? Hmm. No, I don't see any young student named Penny Dreadful in my books. 
Her registration must not have been processed. You should speak to Headmaster Ambrose to see what can be done. Dreadful of the Marleybone Dreadfuls. Oh dear, that poor girl. Let me look around and see if it got misplaced. Headmaster Ambrose rummages through one of the many piles of paper in his office. Here it is. Her application got shuffled into a stack of other paperwork. I wonder if Gamma misplaced it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Wonderful. Please go and tell young Penny that we have her application and everything is in order. Explain that I offer my sincere apologies for the confusion. If there's anything else you can do for her, I'd be most appreciative. Her parents were both students here long ago and we remember them fondly. It's just that Penny's arrival comes at an unfortunate time. forget how helpful you've been. I'll see you in class. Hello, wizard. Thanks again for your help earlier. I'm enrolled in classes at the death school now. There's no classroom or teacher, so I'm doing an independent study. I need to write a report about different types of undead, and I don't know the first things about them. Could you help me with it? Could you draw different types of undead in Wizard City and let me know everything you can? Here are worksheets with the information I need. Just fill them out after each jewel. Thanks.
Penny takes the worksheets from you and reads them. Her eyes grow wide and she giggles. <laughs> Seasoning, serving size, cooking time. Oh no, I gave you the wrong worksheets. These are for a report I was writing about the types of food we eat in Marleybone. Don't worry though, I think I can make these answers work. Thank you. I can't thank you enough, Wizard, for all your help. I thought I would have a hard time finding friends here, but you've been wonderful. You seem to know about what's going on. Did you hear about Malastare in the Dead classroom? 
A year ago, he left here in a storm, and the whole deaf classroom disappeared. Broke right away from Ravenwood, and you were the last one to see him in the Golem Tower. Is it true what they say, that he's plotting to destroy all of Wizard City? Why would he want to do that? Oh, I hope he stays away from Marleybone. I want to go home someday. That reminds me. Could you do me a favor? I need to mail a letter to my family in Marleybone. Do you know of anyone who travels throughout the spiral? If you do, could you ask them to deliver my letter home? Penny hands you a letter addressed to Desmond and Deirdre Dreadful at 57 Kelsey Court, Marleybone. Hey there, youngster. Anything old Zeke can help you with? You ask him about delivering a letter to Marleybone. Ah, oh, sure. That's no problem. I go there all the time. Let me take it off your hands. You give him the letter. Oh, thank you so much, wizard. You're the nicest person I've met since coming here. Hey there, youngin. I see you're making quite the name for yourself as a helpful sort. That's good to hear. I was wondering if you could help old Zeke with something. Not too much to do, really. I just brought a package marked Dreadful for Marleybone. Same name on that letter you gave me. You explain that your friend, Penny Dreadful, is a student in the Death School in Wizard City. Okay, then. This must be for her. Could you take it to her? I appreciate your help. Prospector Zeke hands you the package. It rattles and shakes a little bit and makes a strange noise. You go to where Penny is usually standing and she's not there. You see her spell book lying open on the ground. You don't like snooping, but this might be the only clue to Penny's whereabouts. Penny's latest entry says, I'm so impressed with my wizard friend's example. I'm going to go into the dark cave between Firecat Alley and Cyclops Lane and see what I can learn about Malastare's whereabouts. She finishes with, I'm leaving my spellbook here in hopes that if my friend finds it, they can come and help me out. the night of the day, thou canst not then be false to any man. The course of true love never did run smooth. I think I may have gone on the carousel too many times. Now everything is spinning. To be or not to? Um, life? Time with feet. Some are born great, some achieve great, and some
of Baldur Goldfall, the trader from far off Drizzleheim, and I have just discovered this world. I have sailed across the great sea of skies, establishing new ports to trade my wares in. I would like to establish trade relations with the merchants here, if they be friendly. Can you help me? If Prospector Zeke is here, go speak to him. Then speak to your treasure card dealer and anyone who sells furniture. If you can do that for me, I will be thankful. Hey there, young wizard. How's it going for you so far? You explain that Balder Goldpaws asked you to help set up trade relations between Rizzleheim and Wizard City. That's great. Old Zeke's always happy to do business with the bears. Tell Balder I'll trade with him. Welcome to the library. Can I help you find any book or card in particular? You tell Mr. Argleston about the trade agreement Balder is trying to set up. Oh, that sounds wonderful. I would be happy to trade treasure cards with Grizzlehide. I wonder if we can set up a library exchange program. Welcome to my shop, young wizard. Can I interest you in some furniture for your dorm room? You tell Mr. Quickhammer about the flying boat with the trader from Grizzleheim. That's great. I offer a selection of furnishings from across the spiral. Adding imports from Grizzleheim will certainly be good for my business. <laughs> 